some of the world's most elite warriors, outfitted with the most technologically advanced equipment and plenty of firepower. Target secure! Man, I'm taking you at home. The American hero comes out on top in Act of Valor, but there is something missing from Hollywood's supposed realistic portrayal of the U.S. military. That stuff looks fun, but soldiers today who are joining the military, the number one thing they're going to be doing is driving around in a truck or walking around in a foot patrol in a big circle every day, day after day, and every single day, a bomb is going to go off in the road. <laughs> blow up one of their friends, blow up one of their vehicles. In Active Valor, there are definite reinforcements of the Muslim terrorist boogeyman. Shabal is an old school jihadi. He wants to kill Americans. What the film doesn't show, the damaging effect of war on U.S. troops. Also missing, soldier actions on the battlefield better described as war crimes than Valor. Many military movies such as Active Valor aren't born here in Hollywood, but in the Pentagon. And while they may be a success at the box office, their true measure of success isn't just measured in dollars, but in the number of recruits it can help bring into the service. Action. This film was made with the backing of the military for a reason. It exposes the future generation of SEAL operators to our community and how we operate. Hollywood and the Pentagon have teamed up to create entertaining propaganda since the early 20th century. But the partnership really took flight after the success of Top Gun. Now, many more filmmakers are getting access to taxpayer-funded military equipment if the message lines up with the Pentagon's mission. What has ultimately happened is that Hollywood studios have said to screenwriters quite publicly, if your screenplay cannot get the acceptance of the Pentagon, then we financially are not in a place to be able to make your movie. Besides shaping the narrative of how we perceive war, some are concerned that movies like these are specifically targeting America's poor youth. If you look at how this movie, Act of Valor, came about, uh, Special Operations Commander McRaven straight up told people that the movie began as an effort to recruit minorities into the SEAL teams. You're not there to teach people about the hardships of war. Act of Valor has all the makings of a Hollywood blockbuster, complete with some high-flying promotion by the Navy SEALs dropping in on the red carpet premiere. We ended up being able to shoot the action you know, the way you'd watch a football game on TV. But military battles are no game to veterans who have seen the ugly face of war. They are plagued with psychological trauma for the rest of their lives. And the reality was they didn't go to do anything heroic, but their role as an occupier, the role feeling guilt for what they had actually been a part of, is what's caused, I mean, the epidemic of suicides today in the military. Nobody asks to be a hero. It just sometimes turns out that way. Fortunately, for a bit of cash and ready access to real military hardware, Hollywood is more than willing to provide a happy ending for both the movie's hero and the Pentagon. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.